Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, we're going to tie another little uh, cone body type fly and this time the pinky. Uh, so this is a colour combination that does well in the back end of the season. So we have our tube needle in here and we're going to apply uh, a little length of black 1.8 liner tube. Uh, that's probably about 15 mil long or so and I've flanged the end of it here with a lighter. So slide on 8 mil to 10 mil of black outer. And I'm just going to slide the outer back until we have about 3 mil or so in front of the flange. Take now our heavier thread and bind that down to compress the outer so that it can't slide past our flange here. Now the tail in this one is two parts so uh, if you were going to tie a bigger one you could probably add an extra bit of orange into it if you want a bit more colour or add more red. I sort of vary patterns to suit uh, sort of water colour and conditions a little bit. So we have here a little bit of red arctic runner and then on top of that we're going to put some like a bright magenta pink runner. And I'm just going to Put that off the square end and wet the end of it with super glue and set it up. So the super glue that's on that will then meld into the red bunch from below and hold it in place too. And then we tie backwards to the uh, flange. So, uh, as in other ones that I've tied, I use a little of, uh, peacock crinkle mirage. flash one strand folded back should be enough and then for the rear part of this body what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this sort of like fuchsia colored light bright so I'll wrap that on good and tight at the back here and then step forward just off the front of our uh, Of our outer tubing there. So body wise you could use a pink cone, you could use a pink bead uh, or what I'm going to use here is a gold one and again just sort of play with the colour combination to what suits you for conditions you're going to fish. So swap over now to our black 60 thread and in the front here what I'm going to do is do a little underwing of a copper light bright. So I'll take a few strands of that and tie it on and fold it back on itself and then I'm just going to trim those off to create a little underwing. So for the actual wing itself, uh, I'm going to use like a fuchsia coloured fox teal. Now, what you need to do here is probably to realign it because in this small size it won't look 100% right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the short rubbishy under fluff. And I've 
taking out a lot of the yard hairs as well there because at this sort of short length they don't really suit. So I'm just going to measure it for length now, up to yourself depending on how big the fly you're tying, but I generally go a little bit beyond the back of the actual uh, hook holder tube part. So I'll measure that up for length, then I'll transfer hands and trim that, dab the end of it with super glue and then what I'm going to do is like a pinch loop type tie in and pull it in so that there's only maybe two mil of tag ends out here that are actually tied in. Okay. So next we're going to tie in a soft hackle. So here I'm using again like a magenta cerise bright pink type soft hackle. I'll tie that in by its tip. Fold it back and a couple of turns just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to wrap that by doubling it through my finger and thumb and stroking everything back as I go. And as you can see, we now have a decidedly pink themed fly. So next we want to put on a couple of very small jungle cock eyes here. I suppose these are on the kind of trout sized end of a jungle cock cape. So I'll take two of them and I'm just sort of separating back the fluff off the bases of them. One on the near side, measure the other one up on the far side, pinch it in place with my finger and tie that down. So I'm leaving these, because I stripped the stalks, I'm just going to leave those stalks sitting out there. I'm going to trim them back a little bit but the actual hybrid cone is going to push them back and as long as they're shorter than the radius of the cone you'll never see them and it'll make the tie-in more secure. So on the front of this fly I'm going to put a red badger hackle although at times I also use a magenta badger hackle again depending on how pink or other ways you want the fly to be but this one has that little red accent at the front of it so we tie that in by its tip and then wind it forwards you'll get two to three turns maybe out of it tie across it flip it back a couple of turns and then we'll snip that off and that is our fly tight so you could because we already have the weight in it you could just finish that off as it is and do a, a head uh, but we're going to put on a hybrid cone here so for this color combo i'm using a gold hybrid cone i'll set it on my needle and just get a little bit of super glue there as the head and then I'll take my cone pushing tube here and just force the hybrid cone back into that. Any of the super glue that's on it can just be taken away by the tube. Trim off and that is our fly done. We just need to trim the liner and flame it. So we take that out, cut it off leaving one and a half to two mil, hold it vertically and flame using a horizontal lighter. Blow the flame out and just pour a sort of wide needle into the end of it and that is our little cone body pinky done. Give it a lash, it'll 
catch your fish in the back end of the season. So uh, hopefully it works for you, hopefully you liked it. If you do, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Check out the other videos that I've got on the channel and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.